the NCAA tournament is here. Some people like to wager on it. Everybody likes to do their brackets and pools with friends. So what I'm going to do now is run down the NCAA tournament for you in, I would like to believe, less than three minutes and give you your 2011 NCAA champion. We'll begin in the East region. Number one seed, Ohio State, obviously advances. They move to the next round over whoever they're playing as the 16th seed. George Mason beats Villanova. Villanova collapsed at the end of the year. Corey Stokes, Corey Fisher, sort of inexplicable. Jim Laranaga, the head coach of George Mason, knows what he's doing. George Mason beats Villanova. Clemson, I liked how they looked there against UAB. They're big. They're strong. They're athletic. I like that guy Stitt. I like, uh, um, I like uh, Harvey Grant's kid inside. I think uh, Clemson pulls off the upset and beats West Virginia. Kentucky beats Princeton. Come on. Those Princeton guys spend way too much time in class, and it would appear if you go to school and work for uh, John Calipari, if John Calipari is your coach, you don't go to class at all. That's a no-brainer. Kentucky beats Princeton easily. Xavier over Marquette. Marquette doesn't have the great guard play they used to have. I like Xavier. I like their defense. Uh, I, I like Holloway. He was the Atlantic 10 Player of the Year. Xavier advances. Syracuse, they got that stifling defense. All was good. Obviously, they win in the first round. They made Indiana State. Larry Bird no longer on that team. Washington beats Georgia. Washington, long, athletic. Everybody on the team, 7'5", got a wingspan like a 747. Washington beats Georgia. Georgia's terrible. Shouldn't be in the tournament. North Carolina wins, obviously. They beat Long Island. Continuing in that region, Ohio State beats George Mason. Ohio State, best team in the country. Of course they are. They got the inside-outside game with Sullinger. They can all shoot the ball. We like Ohio State. Clemson also beats Kentucky because even though the Kentucky players never go to class, uh, they also... Um, I got nothing to say here. That was it. Kentucky doesn't go to class. I like Clemson. They're on a roll. They keep going, and they beat Kentucky. Xavier beats Syracuse again. The defensive pressure I like against Syracuse. Syracuse got to get Rick Jackson going. I'm not that impressed with Syracuse this year. Everybody loves the Big Ten. I think Xavier actually gets to the Sweet 16. And I'm going to pick UW over uh, North Carolina because I don't feel like North Carolina plays enough defense, and Washington can score the basketball when things get going. they got a lot of options. Isaiah Thomas is terrific. Uh, the, Terrence Ross, the freshman, uh, they got the, a couple of the big guys uh, inside, and they still have some outstanding uh, guard play. And uh, uh, Brian Manning is a terrific player. I like Washington. That's going to be a really high-scoring game. I think Washington beats North Carolina. Ohio State over Clemson gets to the final eight. I'm going to put Washington over Xavier because of that length into the final eight. Ohio State, obviously, all over Washington. Ohio State goes to the final four in the West region where the regionals will be uh, out here in Anaheim. Uh, Duke beats Hampton. Come on, it's Duke and Hampton. Michigan beats Tennessee. Michigan going the right way at the end of the year. Tennessee going the wrong way. Uh, Bruce Pearl, his job status up in the air. I feel like Tennessee's just dying to get out of this tournament. I like Michigan and I like John Beeline. Arizona over Memphis. Memphis sneaks into the tournament. Great coach, Josh Pastner, almost was the coach at Arizona. Uh, Derek Williams, player of the year in the Pac-10. Uh, we, we like Arizona. I like the guard play. I like how many players they got. Uh, I like Arizona. Uh, Texas beats Oakland. Very trendy pick for people to pick Oakland, uh, but I like Texas. Um, yeah, you know, they, the, I like Joseph, and I like the, the other freshman, uh, uh, Thompson. Uh, Jordan Hamilton, one of the best players, obviously, in the uh, Big 12, the final year of the Big 12. Uh, so even though Texas has been struggling, I think they will win that game. Cincinnati, I like over Missouri. I loved Missouri early in the year. They could score, 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 and now they don't seem like they're scoring. I like Cincinnati. I love their defense. One of the most efficient defensive teams uh, in the country. Uh, they win. I like uh, Cincinnati. UConn, best player in the country, Kemba Walker, easily. Penn State uh, will beat Temple uh, because at, at Temple, come on, it's Temple. You're talking about a lot of Jews, and they've been in Temple, and, okay, that's the, it's the worst line ever. Forget it. Pretend I didn't say that. Penn State wins because I bet against Penn State every step of the way in the Big Ten tournament, and they kept screwing me up. So this time, I'm reversing course. Penn State actually beats Temple. San Diego State, uh, the, the Leonard, their terrific player, one of the leading rebounders, great small forward, and I love Steve Fisher, especially after I saw the ESPN Fab Five special. San Diego State wins. Moving along, Duke over Michigan. Sorry, I'd love Michigan to win. Arizona beats Texas again because Texas headed the wrong way and because I secretly love the Pac-10. It's not a secret. Kemba Walker, UConn, a winner over Cincinnati. There in the Sweet 16, San Diego State. Steve Fisher also advanced. Duke beats Arizona not in good conscience that I can keep Arizona going. I would love it, though. I would love it so much. And I want San Diego State. I'll be rooting hard for San Diego State, but, man, Wisconsin, I mean, uh, UConn, Jim Calhoun, and Kemba Walker, they look unbeatable. UConn wins. Duke, UConn. UConn to the Final Four. They'll play Ohio State. Out in the Southwest region, Kansas over BU. UNLV beats Illinois. They play good defense. They have good guards. UNLV, uh, uh, Illinois heading the wrong way. UNLV wins. Vanderbilt and Richmond 
Vanderbilt spends far too much time in class. They can't possibly win an NCAA tournament game. I'll pick Richmond. Kind of an upset there. Louisville over Moorhead State. The Louisville guys, like Kentucky, never go to class. That seems obvious. USC, assuming that they're the team in there, will beat Georgetown. Georgetown's point guard, uh, Chris Wright, should be back. But uh, if he's not at full strength, the USC can play some defense. They'll beat Georgetown. Georgetown head in the wrong direction. Player of the year from the Big Ten, Jawan Johnson. I love Purdue. Even without the kid, they just kicked off the team for violating team rules. A freshman who played about 20 minutes a game. Still, Purdue advances, obviously, over St. Peter's. I like Florida State over Texas A&M because Texas A&M's headed in the wrong direction. I like Leonard Hamilton. They advance. Notre Dame, best coach or one of the best coaches, Big East coach of the year, Mike Bray, Ben Hansborough. They got an inside game. They got an outside game. We like Notre Dame. Pittsburgh, obviously over UNC Asheville, no-brainer. Old Dominion beats Butler. Last year was Butler's year. Uh, I like Old Dominion because they're tough and rugged. Sets up a great second-round game with Pittsburgh. Utah State over Kansas State. Utah State wins like 25, 28 games a year. They've been playing together for a long time. They're going to win. Kansas State played great at the end of the year, uh, but they were so bad in the middle. I feel like Kansas State is set for a letdown, and I think it'll happen. Utah State advances there. Wisconsin over Belmont. Very trendy pick to pick Belmont, Wisconsin, far too disciplined. They can shoot the basketball. We like, uh, we like Taylor, uh, and we just like their ability to – they're too disciplined. They're not going to lose to Belmont. I take Wisconsin in that game. Uh, St. John's, Gonzaga, I, I can't – I do. I love Steve Lavin. I want him to do well now. I'm so glad he's not the UCLA coach. Oh, thank God. Gonzaga will beat St. John's. I got it. No choice. Uh, oh, BYU. They, Davies may be out on the absurd reason of throwing him out for having sex with his girlfriend. Yeah, come on. Let it go. Uh, by the way, we've moved on to the Southeast region, obviously. Uh, BYU still with Jimmer Fredette beats Wofford. UCLA over Michigan State. Come on, it's the Bruins. They're gonna get it together. I don't actually think they will, but if any team is less equipped or more confusing than UCLA, it's Michigan State. We have no idea which team shows up for either team. UCLA over Michigan State. Mm-hmm. Yeah, And uh, Florida wins. Okay, back up to the top of the bracket. Kansas will beat UNLV. They move to the Sweet 16. Louisville over Richmond. I love Richmond beating Vanderbilt, but come on, Louisville advances. Purdue over USC. I'd love to see USC do better, but I like Purdue even without their player and even with their lousy showing in the Big Ten tournament against Michigan State. Purdue, I think, is, other than Ohio State, second best team in the Big Ten. I love how they play. Notre Dame wins, setting up a great Sweet 16 matchup, big matchup in Indiana, Notre Dame and Purdue. Louisville will upset Kentucky. Again, they don't have to worry about studying, upset Kansas. Louisville beats Kansas, moves to the Elite Eight. The battle for Indiana goes to Notre Dame. They win. Big East matchup in the Elite Eight. Louisville and Notre Dame. Notre Dame, Ben Hansborough move to the Final Four with UConn and Ohio State. Back down to the Southeast region, which gave you the uh, second round, which is really the first round. I hate that. I don't like calling the, the, this, the first round the second round just because of those four nonsense games at the beginning. Anyway, rugged game, but Pitt will survive Old Dominion. People are looking forward to that game. It will be interesting, but obviously when it comes to ruggedness, I'll take Pitt's ruggedness over anybody. Utah State, I'm pulling off two upsets for Utah State. Not only did they beat uh, Kansas State in the first round, they beat Wisconsin in the second round, moved to the Sweet 16 against Pittsburgh. BYU, even without Davies, we love Jim or Fredette and a big thing. It's going to be, they're going to, and they're going to be Gonzaga because Gonzaga upset St. John's. And I'm going to pick UCLA over Florida because we're simply not going to lose in the NCAA tournament to Florida three straight times. Okay, so then we're left with Notre Dame already advanced to the Final Four. We're left with Pitt, Utah State. We like Pitt. The Utah State runs ends there. UCLA and BYU. Come on, now we're playing BYU without Davies and we already beat them with Davies. All of a sudden, UCLA's in the Elite Eight. Hey, it's fantastic. Ben Howland, Jamie Dixon, great friends. Ben Howland used to coach at Pitt. Terrific Elite Eight game between Pitt and UCLA. Come on, it's a no-brainer. Pitt wins. Pitt and Notre Dame for the right to play Ohio State in the finals. Two Big East teams along with Connecticut. Three in the Final Four. Pitt beats Notre Dame, moves to the finals against Ohio State. And the Pittsburgh Panthers and Jamie Dixon are your NCAA champions. Roll it up. Take it. It's done. That wasn't three minutes, but it wasn't that long. And uh, again, your NCAA champion, Pittsburgh, Ohio State, UConn, Notre Dame, Pitt, your Final Four. Pitt wins the NCAA championship. It's a lock. Mortal lock.